What's up guys, it's Nirvana and I'm here to just kind of share my experience with getting ready for the Patriot Games, um, my first official competition with them. It's coming up in a week, just about a week. So I just kind of want to talk about everything I've learned so far and how this three month preparation has really been going. And first I'm going to start with eating. Eating has been everything, not just eating, you know, the, the, the right things, but eating enough, you know, I realized until, not until I got with a nutrition coach did I realize how much I was grossly under eating. I did, I do CrossFit, I did some CrossFit competitions, and if I was eating the way I was now, I know I would have done way better in the competitions that I have done. Um, so fueling yourself is really important. You know, if you're thinking about getting into one of these competitions, you know, being, you know, thinking, oh, competing light is the way to compete, competing being living at a deficit is the way to go no not for performance wise um your body needs food you need to eat and you need to give your muscles an opportunity to grow and your endurance a chance your body needs to be fueled and i didn't realize how important that was um until i did get with, get with my coach and he started breaking down macronutrients and i was eating way more than i previously was um, so that's one big thing. Make sure you, your nutrition is in check. That is above all else. You need to eat right, you need to eat enough, but you shouldn't be overeating either, right? Because you don't want to be competing overly heavy. Um, but that's one thing. Definitely nutrition is my number one most important thing to talk about. Number one thing I recommend to people. Not enough people take it seriously enough. I promise if you're good now, you can be better with the right health and the right coach or even just the proper direction. Um, next thing, actually training. So I train a numerous amount of places in parks, in the gun range, in the gym. And for three months, I was doing two days three to four days a week, sometimes five, um, one complete and total rest day. I mean, I wasn't moving much on my rest days. Sundays are typically my rest days. And I would make sure that I took that rest day because giving your body a chance to recover and replenish everything that you've just taken out of it all week is very just as important as the work you're putting in at the range, at the gym, no matter where it is, in the kitchen, um, letting your body have a chance to let you reboot and push harder that next week, that is so much more important than people give it credit for. We tend to think overworking and working to the point where, you know, oh, no days off is the way to go. Not physiologically. <laughs> we do better when we give ourselves a chance to recuperate and heal. Um, that being said, how my training went throughout these three months. So I would do my CrossFit workouts in the morning and then after work I would go to the gym and do my uh, training portion. I followed the Wad Doc uh, I Came Ready program, their tw his 12-week program, which was really good. So good to the point where I wanted to follow him on social media and I'm pretty sure I did at one point. I was so frustrated with his workouts. <laughs> they were tough and demanding and there was a big strength portion, a Metcon portion, um, very carry, carry heavy. i am using farmer's carry handles, axle bars, doing a lot of overhead carries. Uh, we focused on mostly uh, strict shoulder pressing, push presses, squat, deadlift, um, in terms of the lift, the lifting aspect of it, it was always that. And for Metcons, you know, it'd always be something real spicy that made you want to vomit, which who doesn't love that? <laughs> and if you're into this stuff, you know you love that. Ever, you, just, you just do. Either you do or you don't. And if you don't, you're not into the shit to begin with. Um, but yeah, so the WADA program was great. Um, I have a series of competitions coming up. So after this one in September, I will be doing another two day one in October and then a team one with my husband in November. So we will be continuing some more of that WADOC programming to just keep ourselves going. Um, but right as of now, we have put, we have about like two or four weeks left in it or something like that. Uh, we, we decided to put that on pause because we are going to deload because we're both feeling kind of tired and I don't want to say run down, but just, just tired. Our body was tired and needed to break. So we started an early deload 
Um, we were just doing the CrossFit workouts at the RX or for those of you who don't know, prescribed weight and way to complete the workouts. This coming week, right before the competition, I'm going to scale everything, which means I'm going to do them lighter, really just focus on getting the work done, keeping moving, um, and making sure I move my body every day. Um, and as for nutrition wise, I have gotten with my coach on that and we're following through on how I'm supposed to be eating this week leading up. I'm gonna be taking in a lot of carbohydrates. Anybody who's a former athlete knows, it's really good to carb load before an event. Uh, so yeah, and then that's why like I really recommend getting with a professional. If you wanna do this stuff, I'm not saying you have to, but it makes it a lot easier when you come in contact with a professional and they really just walk you in the right direction. People do this stuff for a living for a reason because it is hard to wrap your own head around sometimes and it's really nice to have that guidance in that direction. Um, I, I would never, years ago, I would never want to get with a nutrition coach or a trainer or enroll in a program. I'd figure it out myself. Yeah, and that's why I've made more progress in this program and by following programs and getting with professionals in this past year than I did in my years of working out. So I've been working out since I was 12. So moving in the direction with a professional really takes you further. Um, that being said, do you have to? No. Are you at an advantage if you do? Probably, you know, it, re it really is helpful. And it's one less thing you have to worry about. There's nothing more frustrating and taxing than, you know, giving your all the time and you're moving, you feel like you're not going, getting anywhere. There's a reason for that. Something is missing and it's great to have people to turn to or or even literature to turn to to know, like to check, to check and see what's going on, to check your systems, to check to see like, okay, this is going wrong because this. Have an idea of what's going on um, and that's one thing. So if you're not gonna go with a professional, be prepared to do a lot of research and studying and putting time and effort. That being said, an emotional part of all of this, so, you know, when you're putting a lot of time, you're putting a lot of energy into something, you, you know, you can become invested. I've hit maybe, I think I cried less preparing for this competition than I have for others. Um, <laughs> just once, it was once, it was hot. We didn't bring a tent to the range with us. And I was, it was probably the hottest day ever out there. It gets so hot in Florida. If you're from South Florida, you know, and if you're from North Florida, it's not the same, I'm sorry. Down here in the South, in the swamp, okay? That heat buries down on you and it cooks you. The Lord is frying plantains and you are the plantain. Um, it is unbearable and we were sitting there. I was like trying to hide under the table at one point. I couldn't take it no more. It was hot. I'm ripping open my shoulders with this rope from pulling sleds and I'm just, I'm over it. My shoes are slipping. My shoes are slipping. I got these awesome Solomons. I'll actually show you guys. I have them right here. They're kind of dirty. I got these Solomons instead and oh, thank God. Thank God I got these Solomons because they can grip in the mud, they can grip in the sand, and I wasn't able to do that in my nobles. I love my nobles for CrossFit. God bless the noble, just the horns. But these Solomons right here, look, yeah, they're still dirty. Game changer. Okay, my last range day, I got to break them in. My last range day, which was last week before I decided to do this uh, two-week deload. Holy crap. That brings me to my next point, gear. You need to be training often and early so you can figure out where things are gonna go wrong. Go wrong. And when I say training, I mean you need to mock these wads. You need to mock these battles, whatever you wanna call them, for these uh, tactical fitness competitions. Cause you need to make sure your rig is secure and sturdy and steady. I don't know how tactical games are, but I know how Patriot games are. And if you leave things behind, nothing counts until you and all your gear make it across that finish line. So you wanna make sure you are load it up correctly, properly, and securely, and with enough and everything you do need. Um, so one, shoes. Get something grippy that you can run, move in, jump in, do multiple things with. Um, I haven't tried Olympic weightlifting in this, but I will say clean and jerks aren't that difficult in a shoe this solid. Um, I've had to do them in some bouncy running shoes that would probably be hard but these shoes are ideal because they really bury into that ground. And this is something that I'm really happy that I did get. Um, also, plate carriers. You want something that is not going to be uncomfortable for you. You need to feel out not just your plate carrier, but your plates. So 
like I said, I come from a CrossFit background. Um, the plates I had were the regular Rogue plates. They were super flat, super not, they weren't with my body and the cut was super broad. So that just took up more of my, my space. It just took up more of my, my energy kind of moving these plates. It didn't fit flat or it was harder to breathe in. Uh, so I did purchase plates to be made specifically for this type of stuff, this type of tactical fitness. Uh, RX plates, they're really awesome. My husband and I, we both have them. They're in here, they fit great. This is Jesse's and this is mine. It's in there. We both have two different plate carriers. This is RDR gear. It's nice, low profile. Mine is 511 Tactical. That is, it is their 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 fitness one. It's a 511 and Rogue collaboration. That's the one mine is. Um, and also with gear, you want to make sure your rifles are on point, your pistols are on point. Get them checked out before you go. Take them to your local gunsmith. Make sure all the parts are working. Make sure you clean them the week before. Lube them up. Um, Another thing with gear, make sure your batteries are good and your optics. Uh, make sure your sights are aligned. Make sure you're zeroed in at, at, a, at a comfortable distance for yourself. Um, and also with gear, make sure your accessories are gonna benefit you and you've worked with those accessories well. You know, the, at the competition is not the day to run your new red dot sight. It's just not. It's not, that week is not even the week. You need to have been training and been comfortable with that, knowing how it works. Like. That shouldn't be what you have to be thinking about the day of, right? Uh, another thing with me is I had to buy a new butt stock because I, I've talked about in a previous video, I did get a new butt stock from Valiant Dynamics, their Evolver combat stock. And it has been the greatest blessing I've come in contact with because I, my rifle shots were such trash because trying to get on target with my plate carrier was a nightmare, an absolute nightmare. And when I'm tired and exhausted, whether I was prone, whether I was kneeling, whether I was standing, it was awful. It was awful offhand, whatever it was. I was still hitting, but not in a tight enough grouping to be comfortable enough with to go into a competition with. That just didn't make me very happy because I know I'm a better shot than that. And without the plate carrier on, I was doing great. I'm fine, I'm John Wick. The minute I put the plate carrier on, disaster. So. My Evolver Combat Stock, which if you don't know, looks like this, has been easily one of the best blessings to come into my life and I'm very thankful for them and the guys over there, they are amazing people, small business, veteran owned, and just everything in a company you want to support. Revolutionary, honestly, when I did take my rifle over to the uh, gunsmith, he's like, what is that? When he saw the butt stock and I was like, that is the best thing ever and I explained it to him. He's like, oh, it's a pretty cool concept. So, Christ, I just dropped so many things. Cheese and rice. I shouldn't say Jesus Christ, I'm a Hindu. It's not really nice of me to say the Lord's son's name in vain. Um, but yeah, so gear, make sure your gear's on point. Make sure you know it's on point before you go into the competition. You shouldn't be zeroing your rifle the day of. You shouldn't be doing any of that. The only thing you should be doing, breathing, eating, ready to go. Um, what else is another thing? Magazines. Make sure you bring enough magazines. Make sure you have everything ready. Have everything packed. I have a, we have everything pretty much packed. Everything's pretty much packed and waiting to go. Uh, we're going to do a final run through. Um, and then after gear, I'm going to say support. If you don't have family to support you, I'm very blessed. I do. I have family. I have my friends. I have um, my amazing husband who is competing in this stuff, you know, we do all this stuff together and I am so blessed for that. I know a lot of people do not have that. The community that is within this whole tactical fitness realm is unlike any other. And I never was much of a community person until I started CrossFit. And then I really found like, wow, like it's really great to be around people who share common interests with you. and. You know, you're all just a bunch of hardworking people and just keep your head down and you work all day, every day. And then the tactical fitness community is literally the exact same thing. Everyone's just a bunch of freedom loving Americans who love, love the sport and they think it's so cool. And, you know, we all get a chance to really build 
together, you know? Yeah, yes, at the end of the day, we're competing, but at the end of the day, also, we're just a bunch of friends and we're having fun out there together and we're bringing each other up, building each other up. And I can honestly say everyone I've met out there is a really good person, right? Because Jesse did compete in the last one. Yes, this is my first one competing, but this is not my first time being a part of it. Uh, watching him compete in May was awesome. The friends we made out there, the people we met on social media. You meet people on social media and then you meet each other in person and you're like, oh, we already know each other. We're besties. What do you mean? Uh, and that's pretty cool. So if this is something that you want to try, something that you have thought about doing but you feel super intimidated by it, start following people who do it. I promise, like, ask them, DM them, ask them questions. Follow me, ask me questions. I will answer them for you. You know, you can really find something special here. And everyone's so willing to share so much information. You're not gonna go in this blind. You're not gonna go in this not knowing what to do. Uh, you're not gonna go in this heavily unprepared. Uh, I know Patriot Games also does like a training academy too and they can get you ready and situated. But, not, I'm gonna draw something out as I hear the plate carrier ready to fall. But this is really one of the best things that I've ever been a part of. And I already feel so deep in the community and I haven't even competed yet. And I look forward to sharing with you guys how that goes. Expect a follow up video and I hope you guys all have a great day. If you wanna support my channel and support me and help us keep this thing going, please uh, feel free to check out Jamalian Dynamics and get 15% off your own Combat Evolver buttstock. And that will help support my channel. All right, guys, my code is Vonna Shoots. I will see you guys next time. Keep training. Stop.